What's up, everybody? About to do another outdoor unboxing. Uh, I haven't done one in quite some time. This is the Michael Myers one quarter scale statue by uh, PC Collectible Studio. Um, this is the Slasher exclusive, which I don't really remember what's different about that one. Um, I just acquired this through a trade. So this was previously owned and displayed, um, but I got a really good deal on it. So I thought I'd pull the trigger on this. Um, there's some controversy with this piece, um, but you know what? I saw one recently at displayed at Monster Palooza and it looked pretty amazing to me. So I went ahead and just went for it. So this is, like I said, the slasher exclusive and it's 1334 out of 1500. And um, it's a pretty big piece. It's about, you know, I think it's 18 inches. So let's get right to opening it. It's in this crazy styrofoam compartment. Let me get it open. All right, so I think the exclusive comes with an extra hand and bloody knife. And I want to say the jack lantern is part of the exclusive. So yeah, I want to do an outdoor unboxing so we can really see this in natural light to see how it holds up. And then later on the video, I'm going to fix it up and maybe take some cool pics, see how that goes. First up, we have the base. Um, this is a really solid base. It's got some weight to it. Very nice wood looking finish on the top. And um, these are the columns that are in front of uh, Michael Myers' childhood home. So that's a nice little attention to detail to put in the front. And as you go around the base, you see moments of 1978's John Carpenter's Halloween. So you see Young Myers. And then you switch over. Ugh. Different classic scenes. There's uh, Bob hanging on the wall. You know, some of these, you know, this, I, I like the concept behind this. It's, it's a cool idea. And, um, they look like they're sculpted pretty well. But um, the paint applications on these look a bit rushed. You know, it's 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 a lot of super darks to really lights. I mean, there's there could be a little bit of in-between values, especially like in here. The jack o' lantern's almost getting completely lost. Kind of defeats the purpose of sculpting it if you're going to paint it all black. But um, overall, a uh, really cool base. See the back of it right underneath, right here. I think the best one though is the the front one, young Mikey here. Looks really nice, very nice sculpt. It's interesting because the batteries for this actually go on the top. Usually, when like I think NECA, um, they did a little bust. And um, some of their figure stuff, it's always at the bottom, but they have it on the very top of the jack lantern where you put the batteries in. I'll put the batteries in later to see how it looks lit up. But yeah, really nice. So yeah, really nice. These sculpted hands. You can even see uh, hue, like blue hues in the veins. So yeah, really nice work on, on the paint applications and the overall sculpt of the hand. All right, so here's the other one. Uh, really nice attention to detail. This feels, this is actually metal to you on the blade. That's nice. It has some nice weight. So here's the head. Um, sculpt is very nice. Paint application is really nice. 
Yeah, I don't, I don't understand the hate on this piece. It looks really good. I know some people were complaining that the, the hole right here is a little too big. Yeah, maybe. And then some people didn't like that they painted the skin tone of the eyes darker, but I get that because it makes sense. It helps give the idea that there's shadow inside the mask, that it's a person wearing a mask. Um, that doesn't bother me at all. It looks actually really good. This is one of the important things. I feel like people need to take things and do unboxings more like outside because people drown it out in white light, putting all these LEDs, and then you can't see anything. It just it just kills the sculpt of anything. You need to look at it natural light first to see how it looks. Um, yeah, I was worried about the hair, okay? Because the hair on some of them I've seen in, in people's reviews. I mean, keep in mind, this is like, this came out, I think, three years ago. Some people just had the hair all kind of goofy and like it just looked too flat. Mine's a little flat because it's been packaged up, but um, I'm going to fix it. But I was uh, thinking it maybe didn't have enough, but I think it does. It just needs to be like, got to give them a little more of a pomp, pompadour up. Maybe give them the horns. We'll see. But um, yeah, so far so good. Everything's looking good. Let's get to the body. Let's get to the body. Whew. Okay, so this guy is freaking heavy. I mean, he is solid. Got the Vietnam jungle boots right there. He's got his nice coveralls, and this is actually the real color of the coveralls for people who don't know. Um, I know they look blue in the movie. It's just because they were using a lot of blue lighting, but these were actually the accurate color of what he wore on, on the movie. But if they made him blue, I, I'd be fine with that too. But it's kind of cool. Um, so let's get him set up. So you just lock him in. Like so. You gotta pop up the collar. Give him the accurate look. I'm gonna mess with his hair a little bit, but um, yeah, overall, um, I mean, I got a really good trade for this slash deal. So I I'm more than happy with this. Um, I don't know. I can't honestly say if it would be worth the regular price that what he was when he came out. I mean, I, don't, I, I rarely get statues, but this was just, I was at the right place at the right time for this piece. And like I said, I, I you know, it looked cool, but I wasn't that into it until I saw it displayed at, um, I was doing a convention at Monster Palooza and I left my booth for a moment and they had this displayed out. And I was like, oh man, that's a cool piece. So, yeah, I'm, I'm really stoked to have this. Um, yeah, you know, it's not perfect, you know. No piece is perfect, unfortunately, but I don't know. I'm pretty impressed with it. It looks pretty good to me. I'm happy with it. Looks good. All right, guys. Thanks for checking out the video. I hope you like it. If you haven't already, I know I don't like asking for people to like it and hit subscribe, but it does help channels grow and helps the algorithm get my videos out there. So if you guys could do that and share it, do whatever, I'd appreciate it. 